There you are. All right. Hey. Hello, Alberta. How are you? I'm good. You? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Just, uh, just got in. That's just a little bit. There we go. Ooh. All right. What's up? <laughs> oh, my goodness, my hair. Um, let's see. What do you like most about traveling everywhere you've been to? Um, hmm. Hmm. I, every day is different, so I like that. There's always something to do that's different. I don't know what each day is going to bring. And also, I like meeting people, and meeting new people all the time. So yeah. that's fun. Yeah, meeting, meeting people, but also the places I go to. I mean, all, every place that I go to is a place that I want to see, right? So that's pretty cool. Oh, well, nope, that way, Shady. Um. What is your like your favorite broadcast when you driving to the location? What is my what? Um, what's your favorite um broadcast? Favorite broadcast? What do you mean my favorite one I've done? Um, like what do you listen to? Oh, I listen to music most. I listen to music. I, I do listen to podcasts. I didn't listen to any on the past two trips because I had everything. Hey, Nick Cartman, beef cake. Uh, I, I, I didn't listen to any podcast on the last uh two trips maybe even, i don't even remember in february and march in florida if i did last year i listened to a lot of podcasts i probably did in february march but i listen to a lot of music i if it's a musical artist that i'm doing coverage on then i'll listen to a lot of their music you know whoever kurt cobain or uh sam cook i'll listen i'll get into you know whoever the music is about but uh you know otherwise um Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't. Know. Just that, yeah. Um, what is the best travel and worst travel? Uh, best travel is anytime I can get in my car and just go somewhere, like Detroit or down to New York or somewhere close or Indiana, Chicago, yeah, anywhere on the East Coast, really, because I can drive my own car. And because that's a big cost is to rent a car. And I don't, and also flying. I'm sick of flying. I've flown a few times already this year and I'm tired of it. Yeah. So flying sucks and renting a car sucks. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite location you've ever done? Ah. Uh, that's difficult. There's been a lot, but. Anything, um, anything music related, I really like. So all my Kurt Cobain ones, uh, I hung out a lot uh, in Olympia for the last week and um, just hanging out in his apartment with my buddy there for like three or four days and just chilling. I mean, that was awesome. You know, not many people get to do that. So hanging out in, in Kurt's apartment and going to a lot of places where he was. And I've got a lot of videos coming up about places that people don't know about. Do you have comments off? Somebody just messaged me and said there's no comments. Um, it should be on. Yeah, it should be on. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. Let me see if I say something. Oh, let me say something. Hold on. It's on. Okay, it's on. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have to check everything before you're leaving to your hotel? Do I have to check everything? What do you mean? Um, just to make sure you have all your computer stuff and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've gotten pretty good at, um, I, if I'm checking out of the hotel the next day, yeah. Uh, if I'm checking out of that hotel the next day, I usually get my stuff ready the night before. Uh, so there's little to do in the morning. So everything's set. My, I, 
I lay out my, I'm like a little kid. I lay out my clothes the night before every night anyway, not at home, but in on the, on trips. And um, cause I used to do that when I was on vacation. I was gonna say, like when I was a kid, I used to do that. I was very, you know, like when I was a teenager, I'd lay out my clothes, what I pick, what I was gonna wear the next day. So I do that, but getting out of the hotel is pretty fast for me. Um, on the day of checkout. But if, I have, if I'm on an extended stay, then I sit around the hotel room in the morning procrastinating about where I gotta go and how much work I gotta do because it takes a lot out of me. Yeah. Um, one thing that was really great about traveling and one thing bad about traveling? Uh, good thing is I get to, that's how I get to earn a living now. I mean, I get to go see a lot of places that I've always wanted to see my whole life. And then now I keep coming. I mean, I've got lists and lists of places I still want to go to, never run out. Uh, and that's just the United States and Canada, not including the um, uh, UK and Australia. But so that's a good thing is I've, I've got I get to see a lot of places. The bad thing is it takes, uh, it's expensive, uh, costs a lot of money to do what I do. So the in the incoming money is not gr great compared to the outgoing money yet. And then um, I miss my dog, Shady, who's right underneath, right here somewhere. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, here he is. I oh, can't see him. Yeah. I, I miss, I because I can't travel with him, so I miss him so much. Yeah. Um, what what's bother you the most about filming in location? Mm. Probably, probably getting there. Like if I'm like twenty minutes away from a location, like driving, it can seem so long sometimes. Like the last twenty minutes. Same with getting to the hotels at the end of the day. It takes seem to like it takes longer, but the most annoying thing is when I do a video and it's got like eight locations. It's driving one to one to the next to the next, and then got a. I'm actually pretty good now with parking. I don't give a shit about paying for parking or illegal parking signs. I just I'll park my car in the middle of downtown. You're gonna see on some upcoming videos if you watch them. I just park my car in the middle of Seattle, downtown rush hour. Got out, film. I used to be really, you know, the only city I can't get away with that is Toronto, where I live. Yeah. You get a ticket. If, you get a ticket if you step out of your car in the wrong place. But I love, um, I love this parking anywhere. What was the other question? What the worst? Um, let's see. It's just like, what bothers you the most about filming and location? Oh, what bothers me the most? Yeah, I was going to say parking, but no, that doesn't bother me anymore. I mean, I'm probably just getting there and then, you know, sunlight. Because I, I film all day long, so I don't stop at, like, 4 o'clock. Yeah. 5 o'clock. I'll keep going until the sun goes down. You know, so the sun can really screw you up. And not too many. I mean, when you're doing true crime or you're doing a celebrity's home, you know, it's always a little annoying because you, you like you, you know, you, it is a private home. We don't want somebody coming out and saying anything. Well, luckily, I haven't had to deal with that. But like, I just did a video. It's not up yet, but I visited a lot of private homes in one video, and uh, not one person cared. Neighbors were walking by, and I was just like, oh, I guess nobody gives a crap that I'm here. Some some neighbors were helping me out with some information. <laughs> Okay. Um, one thing was really great about YouTube channel and bad about YouTube channel. Well, great is that people get to see my stuff from all over the world. I get messages all the time. I'm uh, on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube itself. You know, people video touch them in a certain way or they really want to see something and they think they'll never get to see it so through my lens they got to see it so i love that that's my favorite thing and the worst thing is uh uh doing a channel like this you have to keep going back out on the road so it's 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 
you know, kind of like uh, being in it because I'm just by myself. I, you know, I meet people on the way and meet up with other people, but it's like being in an indie rock band. You know, I'm just touring by myself. Yeah. Bring my own. I, I travel heavy, so bringing all my stuff into the room, out of the room, and then paying for everything. You know, yeah. get your pension. Yeah. But I made my bed. <laughs> Ew, it smells <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's that? Okay. Um. What is the best new place and worst place you've been on? Been best place. Best place is hard to say because there's lots of there's. I, I like so many different places. I love Athens, Georgia. I love, I love uh, Washington State where I just was, especially outside of Seattle. I don't. Miss, I like Seattle a lot, but I love Olympia, and um, love Olympia and Montecito. Now, like I really love those places. I want to go back soon. Even though I think after this trip I've done everything I possibly can on Kurt Cobain, but and Nirvana, but there's other stuff I can think of probably. But I love California. I love parts of Florida. Well, I love New York City. The yeah. only the worst place I've been, I've always said, is Kensington, uh, Pencil, uh, Philadelphia, which uh, sucks because I love Philadelphia. I love the city. I love uh, all the stuff that's available to film there, but. There's one area of it that was just really hard to film in. Uh, I will never forget that. And I will never go back. Yeah. Um, what's more important about traveling and filming and location? I do love Gary, Indiana. Somebody just asked me, I do love Gary, Indiana. I love going to see my boys in Indiana. Sorry, ask the question again, Alberta. Um, what's more important about traveling and filming and location? What's more important about it? Yeah. What do you mean? Like how? Um, let's see. Like just do what you love to do and kind of explain everything. And well, the most important thing is that I get what I get what I want but I mean lots of times when you show up to a location to film you don't you don't necessarily know what's going to happen you don't know if it's going to look like what you think it looks like I don't watch anybody else's YouTube channels about stuff I'm doing or watch any other videos like documentaries so I don't know what these places are gonna well I just read about them and you know I see pictures but I'm like am I going to be able to film outside it's very so you know, I, I, I've, I do a lot of research on all these places, but I don't, on what happened there, but I don't necessarily do a lot of research on the areas that I'm going to and whatever. I just drive and show up. So I hope, and then I don't check um, what I filmed until a good two hours afterwards. I know that I'll look and I'll know that the videos are there and then I leave. Because if I, if I start watching them while I'm on the spot, I'll think, well, I got it, I, or 10 minutes away, I'll be like, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that, then I'll drive back, then it's just, I'll keep going back. So I got to, um, I have to be very uh, focused on what I'm doing when I'm there. Like, if people have filmed with me before, they've seen it, I'm, I get, I'm, I go into a different zone, I kind of just, I, because it's what I do for a living. So I, I you know, it's, yeah, I got to concentrate on what I'm doing, you know? I want, I like making my videos look like, um, I like them for the shot for a big screen, not necessarily a phone screen, so they look very good and framed and. Like when I used to watch people, other people's YouTube videos, like I like, I. The only reason I don't is because I, I don't have time, and also I don't want to influence my videos. But when I've watched other people's before, I'd be like, "Why are you focused on this when your story is about this?" And like, where? Why are you pointing the camera here? Or why do you show all of this and not what is the should be the focus of your camera and your story? Yeah. So it's just getting frustrating for me. Um. 
um, let's see. Was it hard searching for a location to make sure it was the right place before filming? Yeah, that's happened a few times. Uh, I mean, that's usually with movie locations. Uh, when I do those, I still do those and I still got lots coming. But lots of times you can be looking at something and you're like, oh, that's it. And then you turn around and you're like, no, that's it. You know, you just get an address and or you look up something and kind of got a guess by a little clip of the movie you have or some stills from the movie. So it's very important, yeah. Um, can, can things really go wrong when you travel? Yes. <laughs> yes, many things can go wrong. I mean, there's, uh, I mean, airplanes are one thing. I mean, getting delayed or, you know, sitting on the runway for an hour afterwards, that stuff, no stuff like that. Or you, like when I landed in Vancouver a couple of weeks ago, they didn't have a car for me, even though it's reserved. So I had to wait around for the car. And, you know, you're really tired by that point. And little things like that. But I mean, things go wrong in any job, in any profession, I guess. But with me, I just... Um, you know, like I've driven really far sometimes to get to a location and you can't film it. You can't, you can't, there's a private road or something. I just did one last week where I knew it was going to be hard to see that place, but and I didn't see it, but I saw something almost as, almost better, I thought, for fans of a certain band called Nirvana. So I, I got something coming up that not a lot of people would have ever, would ever see or whatever you would notice. I, and I, I'm glad I noticed it. Somebody uh, helped me. Uh, an older lady I met on the street. Well, in a tiny town of like three people. She's kind of giving me clues yeah. about Kurt Cobain stuff around there, which was really cool. Um, does traveling make you have bad and good experience? Yeah. Um, you know, I st I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a late sleeper. I, I, I work all night long. That's, when, that's my quiet time. This is just me and Shady. You know, so I'll watch a little TV or Survivor repeat reruns, of course, and um, or maybe half a movie. Then I'll edit till whatever time in the morning. And then I do that on the road, too. I used to not do that on the road. I used to edit right away and then try to get to sleep so I'd get up early. But now I'm just like, I got to burn some energy off by, like, and get away from, you know, everybody when they come home from work, the last thing you want to do is start working again. But that's what I do all the time. So late, the past two or three trips, I've been watching a little bit of TV. Then I start editing. Then all of a sudden it's four or five in the morning. And I got to be up at nine or 10. I'm not 20 years old anymore. It ain't easy. Yeah. I'm living the life of my friend Pete from the East Room says I live like a college kid. And he's exactly right. I'm up all night, then I get up and I'm like, what's going on? You know? Yeah. Oh my God. Um, how often do you have to change? Um, let's see, like, do you often change, like, um, rent vehicles? You travel? Uh, well, I, if I fly, if I fly to the west, I, I used to, I think in two, th wait, did I start the channel in 2016 or 2017? No, 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 I started 2017. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, before that, I was going down South Las, so I was renting cars all the time. And then when I went to the, that was for the East Coast, because my car here was shit. And I didn't trust it to make it. So then... Uh, I bought a brand new car where I started YouTube and that's what I drive everywhere here in Toronto and anywhere on the East Coast, mid Texas, I've driven it to about West Coast, you got to rent a car. So it's a lot of, um, that's the worst. It's just, it, you know, I like the, the novelty for me of renting a car and getting some new car that I don't have, like never driven before, like a different brand or whatever. That's worn off. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Like, I just need a car as long as the stereo is good. 
That's all I care about. Let's see. Oh. How often do you have to cancel your travel or you never never cancel them? Oh, look at that. Look at my... Oh, isn't that nice? Uh, how often what? Do I have to cancel? Yeah, on your traveling or you never cancel them? I've never really... I don't think I've ever really... Canceled. I had to cancel all of Dece uh, uh, 2020 because of the pandemic. Um, right now, I've canceled everything. Like, I, I, I've got offers to go here, there, for this, for that. And I said, I've said no to everything. I'm not going anywhere for a while. I might go over to... Um, Indiana and Illinois, Indiana to see my guys there, Steel City Storm and Midwest Flash and guys that I filmed with back in my early days who I still love, they're like family to me. I may go there, I was thinking next week, I was like, wait, no, 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 I just got back. I, I'll go end of August, but then I want to go down the East Coast again, but I may just put that into one big trip. I don't know. I got to see. I don't want to leave Shady that long, but yeah. I can get a lot done and I just got to save money. Oh, that's nice too. Oh, it's fall colors. I don't like fall colors. Whoa, look at that. Does filming and location give you a bad habit? Any bad habits? No, not well. Eating. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I will, I'll do a house tour. Somebody just asked me about that for my Patreon. Yes, I will. I'll do a Patreon video about that. There's not, I mean, you can see it now. This is part of the house, but yeah. Um, sorry, what was the question, Alberta? Um, let's see. Does filming and location give you a bad habit? Oh, or yeah, eating. E eating is a bad habit because um, it's hard to, because I don't really eat lunch, really. So I eat breakfast and dinner, and then, you know, you snack throughout the day, but there's not really that healthy. I like carrot sticks, but, the, I mean, it's hard to eat healthy on the road. At the end of the day, I'm not going to cook in a hotel room. And I don't really want to spend the money to go to a restaurant, but I don't leave. I don't get. I don't eat fast food really, but it's just hard to find anything really, a lot of healthy. So I put on a good fifteen pounds in the past uh, six months, just um, from uh, being on the road so much. Yeah. But I'm already. Um, I've already got back into my habits at home, which is eating well and working out, and so hopefully I'll lose it. I gained a shady, shady 16 pounds, and that's how much I gained. So shady's weight is what I gained. <laughs> oh. Ooh, I like that one. Um, did you ever think about why you want to do filming and location? Well, I mean, it's kind of the perfect job for me. I mean, it, it, it combines, I don't want to say talents, but it combines everything that I've always liked and that I was good at and that I went to school for. I went to school for to be on camera and to be behind the camera, and that's what I'm doing now. It's in, you know, I'm fine with having a boss, but I'm better without it. I'm better. Uh, I, I like being my own boss. Yeah. That's for sure. So the um, being, that's... You know, I, I, I don't have anybody telling me what to do, what to film. Everything I film is my idea. You know, people will write on, under the comments and be like, I, I asked you to do this. Thank you for doing this. And I'm like, mm, <laughs> I don't remember you asking, but I, yeah. <laughs> but I, you know, I'm happy that people will see, I'm, I'm ha don't get me wrong, I'm happy that they see something they like, but pretty yeah. much everything I've ever, the only time I've taken, I said this before, because it pissed me off, but I was joking, but when I took viewer suggestions, I did three videos in a row. They all tanked. Nobody watched them. So I was like, and I didn't know anything about the subject I was doing, but I thought I did a good job. 
you know, with the info that I had. And I was like, well, forget this. I just, I got to go back to doing what I, because every place I go, literally, I have an interest in. Like every yeah. place I go, like the video I put up today about Jimi Hendrix, I'd been there before to his grave. And that was a time that I really, uh, something I really loved, seeing his memorial. But when I left Washington three years ago, I remember that he had an original grave and it's bothered me for three years since that I didn't go and look for his original grave. Yeah. So I, re so I knew when I was going back to Seattle, I was like, well, I'm going to go find his original grave. And then I was looking for his funeral location and all that. Shut up, Braxton. She's trying to concentrate. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa, you have to send me Sharon's um, Instagram, please. <clears throat> I think she has one. I, 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 I don't know. I think she does. Or Facebook or something. I'd like to send my wishes. Well, you know what. Okay, Lisa? Okay, does traveling can be tough for you? Or do you love to travel? I love to travel. I do. I've always loved it. I, I, I had a period where I didn't really go anywhere for a very long time. And then um, that was probably around um, 2004, five to 2012. I didn't really go anywhere for about seven years. And I loved it. I used to travel all the time before that. And now since then, I travel that. But I mean, it gets, it, it gets tiring. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I get bored. I get bored easily. Like I'm all I'm in the back of my head. I'm, I'm thinking of, okay, she follows me. Okay, I'll take a look. I must be gonna share. So I, I, you know, I just like tonight. I'm going over to the. I, I've already been out a couple times today. When I get off here, I have to go to the grocery store again because I'm always going to grocery stores. Yeah. Uh, I'm going. That's my sister, and I'm going to um, go to a grocery store. Then come back, and then I might go meet a friend somewhere. We were talking about hanging out, just going for a drive, chilling. Yeah. You know, but then tomorrow I'm like, I got nothing to do except work. But you know what I mean? Work is my work. I can do that. I can do that at nighttime or daytime. It's just weird now being back in Toronto and having nothing planned coming up. I have no yeah. trips, and I'm actually okay with that because as much as I do like being on the road, I, I miss, I miss. Shady and I miss just, um, I want to be in Toronto for the summer for once. Yeah. You were just here. You know how lovely it is, right? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. Did you meet those twins that you follow? Yeah. And how were they? Good. They were good? They were nice to you? Yeah. A matchers with the butterfly. <laughs> A matchers. <laughs> <laughs> Um, was it easy to find a location? Some of them are very easy. Some of them are. Some of them are very hard. Some some of them I'm I'm standing right beside and I'm looking all around. Like I just last week in Seattle, downtown Seattle, I was looking around and I couldn't find this one building. I was like, Jesus! It was getting so pissed off. And then I was leaning against the wall of it. I was looking at every building except the one that I was leaning against. And I just after ten minutes. I was standing there and I was making fun of people walking by. It's in a video coming up. And I turned around and I was like, oh shit, there it is. There's the building I'm leaning it. Somebody's asked if, about how do I cope with editing so much stuff. Well, Rob, it's tough. I do a lot of editing. Uh, I, film, I film heavy too. I've gone, I, some videos I don't. Pretty much what you saw in the, um, if you watch my Jimi Hendrix video today, what you saw is what I filmed with a couple of mistakes that I edited it out, but everything is on. So, you know, I just had to add in the pictures and some video or whatever, but, um, and music. But lots of times I'll film extra, extra, but I'm getting better at that. I'm like, no, I don't need that. I don't need that. And especially when I start go to edit right away, I'll go to the end of the videos and be like, I don't, I know, I know I filmed this, I know I filmed that. And I've gotten really good at, like, I can think of stuff that I filmed a year ago. And I'm like, okay, I got to put that video up soon. Like, literally a year ago, I still have tons of videos. I'm like, oh, I did that. But I also went to this other location for that. That was 10 days later. Like, I can tell you the day. And um, so I, I, that's 
something that's like I don't know how I do that because it's not organized. Like it's organized in my head and I, it's organized somewhat in my files, but not really. I organize it when I get to it and I don't know how I do that, but it's not the best way. Cause I did leave something out once and it's bugged me ever since on one of my videos. But you know, yeah. Um, what keeps you monetized to go places? Monetize or motivated? Um, one of them, so, yeah. Motivated. Um, well, because I always think of things I want to see, and I always think of things that will be good for, that'll suit my channel, you know? I mean, I know what does well. I know I can look at my, the stats, you can go really deep in them, but also, I mean, just looking at the numbers of views, I know what does well for my channel. Um, death, locations, and graves. I mean, and you can call, you know, you can call something, you can give something the craziest title and it'll get more views right away, but I don't like to do that. And I don't want to be known as just a death guy. So even though Kurt Cobain, for instance, you know, there, he, a big part of what he's known for is the fact that um, he tragically killed himself, but... I try to focus, I, I focus on minuscule parts of his life and, and weird details about like, you know, the van that I just put up yeah. and other things about, you know, see coming up. So there's stuff like that that I, just, I wanna see and I can think of a ton and I don't know if other people have done them. And like I said, I don't care. Like yeah. if other people have already done them, I'm kind of done with um, sadly Friday the 13th stuff because I've done nine out of, 12 movies and the other three you can't really do so that sucks because friday 13th is such a big um uh thing for me i love doing horror movies especially friday 13th so i maybe redo the first bit no i'm actually not no i'm not going to because too, it's just pointless to go redo the first one i like I, I if i went back i wouldn't be as excited as i was the first time and I know lots of people go and do it. They have the camp open every year a few times. Everybody gets the exact lineups and everything. And I'm like, yeah. I could drive an hour into New York City or down in Newark or something to find something crazier or something else that's different, that interests me. Yeah. So Shannon, I see your comments and Owen's asked me if I remember the TV show, The Equalizer the location of the main actors. I, I don't know about that, Owen. I don't know where the main... I think one of them is buried in England, isn't he? The guy from... Uh, I don't know. Do you write down places that you have to go to? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have... I didn't for this uh, last trip because it was... um. I was, I, I hadn't planned it myself. I had a Seattle list already planned, already written, but I had no idea when I was going back to Seattle. I didn't think I was going back this year. And, but because I did that thing for the Discovery Channel, they flew me to Vancouver and I thought, well, there's one major thing I missed in Vancouver and one other thing I want to do, which will come up soon. So then I was told Discovery Channel, I said, look, if you're gonna fly me out for a couple of days, let's make, give me the return ticket 10 days later so I can uh, go down to Seattle and do all my uh, Seattle stuff because I want to do, and that was all from my head. I didn't even look at my Seattle list because all I had in my head was Kurt, 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 Kurt Cobain, Kurt Cobain, all the stuff I missed last time I was in. And also the owners of the Kurt Cobain apartment and the car who I talked to regularly, they said, you know, they were excited to have me back because it's been so long. I was excited to see them. So that was all in my head. So everything you see coming up in the next week or two is all just stuff when I was there. I was like, okay, now today I want to do this. But a lot of it took more than one day because it, it's a big area to cover, the Pacific Northwest. Kurt Cobain was everywhere. He wasn't just in Seattle. Yeah. Do you make your own, own choice to go to the places that you want to go to? Yeah, it's all my, it's all what I think. I mean, I've, I'm starting to, um, I've got three things planned uh, that I want to 
two things I want to refilm in Detroit and one big video that people are going to be shocked that I, where I am when they see that I got access to in Detroit. So that I'm going to wait till the end of the summer, even though I'd like to, I'd love to just go and do it now, but I'm relaxing and not going anywhere for a month, like I said, at least. And then I'm starting to slowly think about East Coast, you know, those types of places and East Coast all the way down and a lot of back, then drive back through the Midwest. So that's going to be a big trip, but I may not do it. I, I could stay home till the, till December with all the videos I have filmed. I have 200 and some odd videos, yeah. you know, unless, uh, I just gotta save money. But, you know, the East Coast late summer is nice. I don't want it, and, you know, further south you go, it's, it's like summer still. I'm always chasing summer. That's my, that's what I always am going to continue to do. Try to have as less winter in my life as possible. Yeah. I'm sick of it. Tools for it. Fuck off, winter. It's a million degrees here today in Toronto, too. It's so hot. I love it. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Are, are you oh. happy what you love to do? Oh, yeah. Your mom was born in Toronto? That's cool, though. And, and I just saw the comments. Sorry, guys. What, uh, am, I, am I happy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like any job, though, you know? Like it's, but it's my passion, so that's great. Not many people get to do that, so I'm lucky. It's just a matter of balancing out the um, economics of it for me. That stresses me out. It stresses me out more than ever. Like, I'm just like, well, this is going to cause this to go here, then there. And hotels and cars right now are not exactly uh, pre-pandemic levels. They're way higher than ever before. And it's just it's shitty, especially inside the cities. And I like say, I always like staying outside the cities. But lately... After um, after being uh, in Hollywood for so long, uh, the last time I was there, I was like, it's kind of better being right in the center of the city. You can go anywhere fast. And I had got get such a good deal at that Hollywood place where I stay. So now I'm like, oh, I'd rather stay in the city, you know, instead of the suburbs where I usually stay. But it's just become too expensive. So I'm just kind of, you know, I, I'm, but I'm done with staying in tiny towns off of the interstate where, where they offer like $100 a night, where, you know, if I, if I want to go somewhere, dry, go for a drive at night or go film at night or something, you got to drive an hour to the next city. There's no point. So I got to stay somewhere urban. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Was it your first time going to the um, YouTube concert? You too? Yeah, the one you always listen to sometimes. The one you visit, um, what was it Joshua's Tree? Oh yeah, the Joshua Tree. Yeah, I went there again. I was there in um, May, May or June. I can't remember what, May, I think it was June. Yeah. Uh, very, very hot in Death Valley. No, that was my, about my fourth or fifth time out there. It's just on the outskirts of Death Valley. Um, no, I go there a lot. I, every time I'm in California, if, if I'm there for at least three weeks, I'll drive out towards Death Valley. Um, now, the next time I go to L.A., if I go back, when, not if I go back, I always go back, probably would be for a shorter time, two to three weeks, like I did in October, get a lot done. I didn't go to Joshua Tree then, uh, but I did last April, and I did this June when I was there for a long period of time, because it's... It's a bit of a drive, and there's nothing out there. It's only if, you know, it's just, it's just mountains and, and desert and the occasional tree. But I love, I love seeing it. I never get tired of seeing that. So, yeah. Um, does sometimes you have to change your schedule to meet some of the YouTuber, or do you... Oh, do I have to change my schedule? Yeah, to meet the other YouTubers. Oh my God, yeah. Filming? Are you kidding me? Yes, I, I'm the latest rising YouTuber of, of all my, my YouTube friends. I mean, they're up at the crack of dawn, ready to go. They're up yeah. at 7 a.m., 6 a.m. And I'm like, what? I've been asleep for an hour or two. So when I started filming with Adam, 
the woo back in February, I knew he was an early riser. So he said the first time we were out, he's like, well, like the first night we met and had dinner. He's like, so what time tomorrow? Eight? And I was like, uh, yeah, that's cool. He's like, too early? I'm like, well, a little bit, but it's okay. I can do it. So he said, okay, 8.30, is that cool? So 8.30 we did, a couple days in a row. By the end of the week, we spent 10 days together, I think. By the end of it, I had him uh, at 10 or 10.30 meeting me, and he was okay with it. <laughs> he just stayed in his hotel room chilling because I was just like, I can't do it because I'm just like, I'm up so much later than anybody else. And, you know, uh, Adam's different. Adam's built like, a, you know, he's a machine, the guy. Like, he's up ready to go and eight coffees a day. And I'm like, what? Two coffees a day? I'm going to be peeing all day. So, but yeah, I the guys I film it. But then when it's my schedule, I just tell people, look, like if I'm in a Georgia filming with people or Florida or wherever, small, like wherever, really, I just tell them, look, I'm, I'm from Canada. Like I came all the way from Canada to film. I can be an hour late because I don't know where the hell I'm going. I drove here. So that's what I tell people all the time. They're like, yeah. well, you want to meet at noon? I'm like, maybe. I don't know. Or one or two. Or I don't know what time I'll get there because I don't know where I'm, how long it should take me to get with each place you say. That's why I, don't, I try not to make plans with people on the road yeah. as much anymore. I try not to make, um, like, say, I'll be here this day. I'll say, look, I'll get, I'll get, and I forget. By then I forget. But, you know, try. Yeah. How did you and um, Jordan meet? Which Jordan? Jordan the uh, Jordan the Nash? Yeah. How did we meet? I don't know. You'd have to ask Jordan. I don't know if he remembers either. <laughs> I don't know. I know we filmed um, two videos together or two or three in Columbus. Is Jordan on here right now? I don't know if he's on. We filmed in Columbus, Ohio together. And I don't remember how we met before that. You know, you talk to a couple of people on YouTube, other YouTubers, and then plans come together. Oh, if you're ever here, then I remember, I'm like, oh, I'm going to be near there. I'll, you know, I'll check in with that person. You know, I don't remember. Jordan, I've known for quite a long time. That's like three or four years. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. Brexit, I met you at 9.30 a.m. Was that early? Yes, that was early Brexit because that was my last day. Remember? I left. I had to drive all the way back to Kansas the, that night. So I didn't get to Wichita until like midnight or one. So I had a lot to finish that day. Okay. Um, while you're like um, traveling, when you're filming, do you always drive in the dark when it's late? I uh, I used to all the time. Now I try not to, just yeah. because. Um, I mean, I can drive in the dark like anybody, and I, I don't like driving in the rain. That's the only thing I don't like driving in. But um, I try not to drive in the dark because I find that. Uh, I'm losing. If I, I I'm I'm losing valuable time to edit and to relax and to yeah. set up and to research. If I start thinking, okay, I'll push it to the next. Like when it gets dark at five o'clock, that's like the worst for me. Like daylight savings time, I hate it. I hate when it's dark by five o'clock. But I like to be off the road. If I'm dry, if I'm traveling in my car driving, and go yeah. hotel to hotel each day, I like to be off the road by five. Now I used to be like, I'll drive till ten o'clock at night. You know, and that's rare. Now I'm like, no, I want to be in a hotel room. I want to start editing. I want to get in the hot tub. I want to go drive around the town, look at it, whatever. Yeah. So I try not to drive at night anymore because it's just boring. Okay. Um, have you been to Monnet Valley? Where? Um, Monnet Valley. I think it's somewhere in Arizona. No, Mo oh, Monument Valley. No, I haven't. No, that's somewhere I, I want to go. I want that's somewhere I, Utah is is high, high, high on my list. The only problem with Utah is it's um it's huge. So and everything's kind of spread out. But there are things I want to do there. But it's so close. Any place that's close to California, I'm like, well, if I'm there, I may as well go back to California for a bit and do this. 
but uh, Utah, New Mexico, uh, not so much Arizona because I did there, and Colorado. I want to get to those three states. Yeah. I want to get to those three states. I don't know if it'll be this year. Uh, What do you do? Um, what do you do when you get stuck in traffic? Oh, I swear a lot, and I get really angry because it takes so much out of my day. It takes so much time. Like I get stuck in traffic in big cities. In small small towns, can have rush hour too, which is ridiculous. But I hate uh, I hate traffic. Uh, like I just hit it the other night driving through Seattle I, at 10 o'clock at night. I was like, there's not going to be any traffic now. At least I'll make it back to Canada fast. No. Uh, so I just, you know, turn up the music, keep the window down, and just get really, really angry. What's my favorite person that I've covered in a video? Uh, Rob, that's got to be uh, Eminem or, or Kurt Cobain. They're both up there. Elvis, too. But probably Eminem and Kurt. Kurt's a little different because he's no longer with us. So his places seem a little more, um, I don't know what the word is, not haunting, but you know, there's bittersweetness attached to going to each place with Kurt Cobain because I love Nirvana so much and I love Kurt so much. So Eminem, it's, it's more fun. The Kurt places are fun too, but there's always a sadness attached to it because of what happened. Okay. When did you decide to get shady? Uh, well, my, my previous dog passed away in 2013. So uh, it took me a long time to get over his death, obviously, because pets become a part of your life. Yes. And I had him since I was young. He lived to be 20 almost. So um, I remember just thinking I really wanted a dog. And I'd already started YouTube. So I talked it over with a friend of mine. And she's a dog lover. And I said, I just don't know how I do it with traveling all the time. And she was like, anytime you leave, I'll just give him to me. Give him to me. I'll take him every time. I was like, really? Every time? She's like, every time. Like, no matter what. So that was like, hmm. I could get a dog and still travel because I, I don't, I don't leave, at that time I only went for two weeks at a time. So I just decided, uh, I remember it was November of 2017. I was just like, okay, let's try and find a dog. And then I contacted a few different people who had connections and this lady called me and sent me pictures. And uh, I saw a bunch of puppies in a picture and I saw his face. And I, went, I said, that one, I want that one. And then when I got to her house, six weeks later or five weeks later, I can't remember how long it was. Um, they were all, and this is the same as my first dog, I remember. All the puppies were eating, like, you know, yeah. from their mom, sucking on their mom. That's not weird, but you know what I mean. They were drinking from yeah. her. And Shady was at the other end of the gate trying to figure out how to get out. Yeah. So they were all crowded around the mom and he was trying to get out. Same with my other dog. He was doing the same thing. All the other puppies were playing in one area and my other dog Kelsey was off by herself saying get me the fuck out of here how the hell do I get out of this little gated area so Shady I was like that's him she's like that's him he's a little rascal and I was like that's what I want and he's still, he's he's a good boy right Shady he's right here okay um are you planning to get um a name tattoo of Shady? Uh, no, probably not because I've got, um, I just realized t t uh, today, like my arm that I have for people, which is this arm. Yeah. One of the ones is E and that's for Eminem and he's still alive. So mostly this arm is supposed to be for people who have passed away, either celebrities or people close to me. So I was thinking about something with Shady, but then I don't want to jinx them. But yeah. uh, I've got other plans for the tattoos. So those are going to be done in August, late August. Okay. 
Okay. Um, if you decided to come to New Mexico, what would you like to learn about? I don't want to learn anything. I want to make it all up. Just tell people complete lies. <laughs> I don't know. There's, I can't tell you my list. You yeah. know that. I don't tell people yeah. what I'm going to film. Yeah. I, I ran into... I, that'd be only because I like to surprise people. I don't like to, you know, I don't like people knowing what I'm, what I'm going to put out because yeah. I kind of like, you know, every day you never know what's going to be on my channel because it's a mixed bag of stuff. Yeah. But also I ran into trouble before. I've seen people, uh, f when I've talked about stuff, I've seen them go and film it. The next day I've, I've got notification. Somebody's told me, they're like, oh, somebody just did that. And I'm like, that happened a couple of years ago with some big topics. And I was like, that's too much of a coincidence. So, uh, New Mexico is just huge. There's lots of stuff I want to do there. And, you know, I know that it, it's warm year round, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, like, right, right after, <laughs> yeah, like I can go there in January, or February, December, and I can be happy. Yeah. Let's see. When did you decide to do true crime? I don't remember, to be honest. I don't know what my first true crime video was even, but it's something I've always liked. True crime, always, always. I don't, I don't remember what my first true crime was, but for the life of me, I cannot remember. But, you know, it kind of lends, once you start doing celebrities that have died, you, you come across, yeah. the, you know, a lot of times that is true crime if they died in a weird way or if it was murder. So it just lends itself to, other true crime things and stuff and serial killers. Unfortunately, serial killers are part of um, pop culture now, you yeah. know, which sucks. They shouldn't be celebrated in that way. But so I do lots of stuff about serial killers. I've got lots coming up about unknown crimes, which I don't know if I'm going to do too many of. I'm going to put those ones up, but I'm trying to do ones that have to be, uh, has to be, have a connection to pop culture or, Something like that because that's what my channel is about. Yeah. Thanks, Rob. Okay, I got one more one more question, okay. Alberta, because I got to go to the grocery okay. store and take the garbage right. out. All right. Um, how long does it take for you to edit a video? Oh, I think you asked me this before. I well, I'll tell you, it can take. I've got so many coming up that are so long to edit. I keep putting them off, but th sometimes I'll just. Um, I, I learned recently that I cannot edit on an airplane as much as I try a four yeah. or five hour flight. I can't do it. Even though I've got all that time to sit there and do it. I'm just, even with the headphones in, I'm too distracted by everything going on around me. Um, but certain videos can take, I think once I put, once I sit down and do, I can edit faster than ever. Now I'm, I've gotten faster at it. Not necessarily better, but I've definitely got faster, but anything with movies, Movie location where you put in movie clips, that's tough. That takes a long time to place them in the right place. And, um, you know, I color code them, try to get them correctly, each blend in together, the sound to blend perfectly. And it's, it's you know, that's what takes a little bit longer because I want it to sound good and look good. But the, the Jimi Hendrix one, I edited the beginning up until where I was talking outside of the church. So the first two minutes, I edited that last week, right that night. And then I didn't think about it again until two nights ago. I was like, oh, that's got, I got to put up Jimi Hendrix next because I really want to. And two nights ago, I was just so tired. I was like, I'll do it. What's today? Today's Monday? Yeah. Yeah. So I said, I'll do it Sunday in the day. And I started at like four o'clock in the afternoon and by five o'clock it was done. And I was like, how is that possible? That took an hour to edit because everything I shot was right there. And yeah. I, did, I only had to do one voiceover, a quick one. And then it wouldn't up, it uploaded f three times and kept getting taken down by YouTube saying it has too much music in it, like too much Jimi Hendrix music, which I knew I can't use, but I can get away with a bit, but they kept catching each little bit. So that it took hours for it to check. Sometimes, so each each time I tried to upload, it took two hours for them. It was checking and checking and checking, which yeah. is just so annoying. And then uh, at nine o'clock, it was still checking. 
and Shady climbed on top of me and gave me that look saying, let's go take a nap. I was like, yeah, all right, let's take a nap at nine o'clock at night. So we took a nap for an hour and then at 10 o'clock, I got a notification, the video is ready to go, like just press play or publish. And I was like, well, it's 10 o'clock at night now, it's too late to try to put up today. So it's very frustrating, it can be very frustrating, but um, I now have a video coming Wednesday. Like, I mean, I'm trying to do every two days, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday, and they're all about the same subject and they're all pretty long. So they're gonna take a long time to edit, but luckily that's what I, that's what I'm, that's my job now, so. Okay, then. Okay, we'll talk again soon, Alberta. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Mm -hmm. I got to take the garbage out. See, it's not that glamorous. I got to take the leaves down, or the, whatever, the grass clippings down. Oh. Yeah. And then I got to go to the grocery store and find um, gluten-free waffles. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Shannon. Did Shannon have a question? She said, oh, well. Do you have a question, Shannon? I can't read all of them. <laughs> like I can't see, I'm, I'm this Alberta <laughs> oh does she have a question Shannon hello I've got my big window open right now so it's like watching TV there's all these people walking by it's crazy so many people on my street my street's dead what they're all doing out there do you get recognized in Toronto now uh Shannon I think you know I get recognized um a bit in Toronto, I got recognized a couple times in Vancouver, but uh, it's definitely because of the hair, Shannon. I, I think if I had regular hair, you know, flat and, you know, whatever, uh, I don't think anybody really recognized me because my channel's not that huge. But in LA uh, is where I get recognized all the time, Shannon, because everybody there is looking to see if they know who somebody is, either people, tourists or other influencers that they call themselves, or people looking and so at least once or twice a day in los angeles it's crazy someone will stop me and it's so nice but and it started to get a little more i said before about a half a year ago i said people recognize me and they're, they're like hey you're that guy or hey you're scott and i'm like hey what's up and then they just go love your channel or whatever and they walk away i'm like that's it <laughs> you don't want a fucking picture no <laughs> like what, what, what now people are asking more for pictures which is nice <laughs> so, so I'm at that level of, I'm at that level where people like, you know, will recognize me in some, every now and again, be like, hey, can I get a picture with you? And it's so nice. But like I said, it's because of the hair. If I didn't have the hair, no one would give a shit. But I'm, I'm, I wish I could meet everybody that watched my channel, all, all, every subscriber. I hope to, I wish I could, but it's impossible because everybody's so nice. Come here. Look. Oh, there he is. <laughs> He gets recognized more than I do. And he does all the hard work. Yeah. He gives me company. He just keeps me company. He's a good boy. You guess? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, say bye to Alberta. <laughs> yeah, he's a cute. Look at him. He's my baby. Look at him. <laughs> he's such a baby. Oh, my God. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>